Hi, I'm creating this video real quick for YouTube. It's uh, basically I didn't see very many surf guitar collections, and these are the guitars that I own. I'm going to talk a little bit about each one and uh, tell you why I bought it and why I like it. This uh, first guitar is basically a Yamaha uh, Samurai reissue. Uh, these guitars came out in the 60s. They reissued them in the last couple decades. Uh, it's a nice Strat sound. Also, it's probably the most comfortable body as far as the Strat style guitar goes I've ever uh, had. Um, it's a pretty cool guitar. It does the surf thing. Couldn't ask for anything more. Alright, this is an uh, interesting guitar. This is a first act Volkswagen. Uh, Garage Master. It's got the uh, cool logo on the truss card cover. Uh, these tuning keys are fine. A lot of people don't know that they have a custom shop where they do make good guitars, but most of the guitars they sell at Walmart are shit. I wouldn't recommend buying them. Uh, basically, the reason why I bought this guitar is it's got active pickups. A little LED comes on. When you activate the active pickups, it's got the VW knobs and the three-way switch. It's the only active guitar I have in my collection. Basically, you could do metal to garage rock on this, even some surf. Just turn the active pickups off. Sounds better. All right, here's my main rockabilly guitar. This is a Thin Line Arcor AF75 Neo Country. It's got a beautiful finish on it as far as uh, metal sparkle. Kind of a gray with uh, tool leathering uh, style pinstripes on it. It's got really good pickups. Uh, Ibanez Bigsby, which is fine. Roller nut on it. It's got a really nice headstock. I actually like that better than the Les Paul. Bound uh, fingerboard. Really beautiful inlays. Uh... This is my main rockabilly guitar. You'll probably have to bury uh, me with this. It's pretty, you know, these guitars, let me get a chair here. I got a foot injury. It's hard for me to stand up. <clears throat> Alrighty. If you're looking for that rockabilly sound and you don't want a really wide jazz box and you want to do it for under 500 bucks, this is the way to go. I've seen the plain Jane black ones go for as cheap as $250. And uh, the more oddball colors go for a lot more. Uh, I've seen these guitars as expensive as $1,000. So all in all, it's good blues guitar, really good rockabilly guitar. Um, pretty damn cool axe. Alright, this is a, a PV. Guitar, it's a retro fire. I bought this because uh, the body shape is really contoured nice. This guitar is a little bit dusty, it's been a while since I played it. And uh, basically, that pickup placement and those really wide poles. Man, it's a tone sucker of a pickup. It's got a really cool headstock. You can get these 150 bucks, they're hard to come by. Damn thing should go for about 300. It's a uh, Really good quality made guitar. Alright, let me move my, my chair again. This is my other uh, Rockabilly guitar. This is a Hagstrom Tremar. It's in a uh, peach finish. I didn't want one of those uh, orange finished uh, Gretches. Got nothing against Gretsch guitars, but I just don't like that color. Uh, it's got cream binding on both sides. The Hagstrom Tremolo. Pickups are really decent in it. It's thick body guitar. Nice inlays. And probably the most beautiful headstock on a guitar that's less than $1,000. So that's a, another good option. 
These, you know, they go for about nine. I see some asshole uh, advertise it for a thousand too. I bought it brand new off of Reverb for uh, four hundred bucks. Uh, basically, you know, most of my stuff I get off of uh, Craigslist, pawn shops, Reverb. Uh, I've used the Goodwill auction. Uh, and you know, local guitar shops, you got to support those. And if you see a guitar you like, buy the damn thing from there, don't order it because you know, you need a place where you can go and get picks and stuff. So, buy guitars there too. All right, here's another unusual guitar. This is an Echo 400. This is a, a little bit heavier guitar, but the tone's really good. Those are, uh, the toaster style humbuckers are not too harsh to use for surf. It's got the three way switch. It's really cool neck, decent uh, frets, beautiful headstock, really beautiful sparkly. See how that sparkles? That's beautiful. It has sparkle silver on the back. I don't know why they did the guitar in two tone, but uh, basically, some dude bought this in England. I don't know why the hell he got rid of it. It's a great guitar. And uh, he sold it on Reverb. Now I was able to pick it up. So it's really good. Now, here's a really damn good surf guitar. Well, how this guitar is damn good uh, pretty much anything you want to do with it. This is a BC Rich Mockingbird. And this is the reason why it's so diverse. Um... It's got splits so you can do the single coil sound. It's got an out of phase switch, which gives you a pretty decent surf sound. Uh, above those switches, there's a very tone knob. That's different positions for different filter uh, filtered sounds through the uh, the pickups. It's got a three way uh, master volume and uh, two tones. This guitar. I can do anything from hard rock to death metal to surf to blues. It, it just, there's no reason for me ever to buy a Les Paul. The neck's pretty identical to a lot of the uh, standard Les Pauls out there. And uh, again, I like that style headstock better than the, the Gibson. The only thing I don't like about this guitar is... Uh, through the body neck, I don't really like that. Uh, I'm worried one day that uh, it's going to have neck issues and um, I'm not going to be able to fix it correctly. All right, here's uh, another uh, cool guitar. This is an Echo Cadet. This is a Surf Monster. Uh, excuse the uh, strings. I'm going to do a deep thorough cleaning. Treat the fretboard, check all the electronics and stuff like that. And uh, basically, that's why I took the strings off. That's uh, an Echo um, Tremolo system. I think it's better than a Bixby. And I'm going to put a uh, roller bridge on here, too. Uh, cool thing about this guitar, it's got a zero fret. I wish every guitar had one of those. Had more natural sounding open chords. Uh, it's got three switches. That way you can play all three P90s in, uh, at a time. And there's basically, that's where a plug-in is. Uh, that I don't like, but I can live with. You just got to be careful with it or have it going out the side or the back of the guitar. But this thing kicks ass. Uh, guys who know, no. Uh... You pick one of these up, you'll never pick up another Stratocaster again. Yeah, you know, if you take the time to really work with the guitar, so. It's a pretty awesome instrument. Alright. Now let's look at the acoustics. Alright, this acoustic I bought in a music shop, it's an ovation copy. Um, basically, the tuner heads were all messed up, so. I was able to, uh. Fix the tuners, lower the action, plays like a eight nine hundred dollar guitar now. This is my main acoustic guitar. This is uh right here is my second favorite acoustic guitar. It's one of the cheaper Epiphones uh, DR series. Just got a nice, nice, nice tone to it. 
Here's a more expensive uh, AJ series. And it don't sound as good as the cheap one. Which I ain't surprised. Uh, Scott Grove has got a really good uh, guitar stage, uh, YouTube channel. He did a blind uh, taste test for guitars, more or less. Basically, everybody picked the cheap court guitar. Alright, here's a Yamaha FA series. This is basically what I recommend for uh, people starting out. Great student guitar. It'll get you through to your intermediate level. And then some. These bad boys go for, you can get them as cheap as uh, 150 um, from Guitar Center or Cigar Center as I like to call them. And uh, it's a good guitar for a, a beginner. All right, here's an Ivan as I picked up at a pawn shop. It's got a pretty decent guitar. Uh, the electronics are actually pretty good in it. Um, but, you know, average run-of-the-mill guitar. Now, this beauty right here is uh, Sam and Greg Bennett. Basically, really nice neck. Probably one of my more comfortable necks on now. And it's fast, too. Or as the next go, and I that cutaway right there. This I'm gonna turn this into a nice slide guitar for you know acoustic blues slide type stuff, and it, it's a beaut. All right, every guy interested in Americana music should get one of these power slides. Uh, our PV product, the genius. It's got it comes with a. Three point strap where you can play it standing up, you can sit it down in your lap. It's pretty awesome. It comes with uh, this unique humbucker, basically, uh, splits off to a single coil by a knob change and a uh, humbucker, and basically, how much they mix between the two is how much you move the knob. Alrighty, um, not a huge fan of. Uh, Squire guitars or Fender guitars. Uh, basically, this is a Squire anniversary. It's a fat telly, basically. It's got the humbucker. That's why I bought it. It was cheap, too. Uh, it's got the sparkle finish. And yet, you can still get that good uh, bridge pickup country sound. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, Squire's very hit and miss. Even if you two models of the same thing will play differently. Alright, I don't like Les Pauls. This is a Les Paul 100. Uh, it's one of their cheaper models. Here's the three reasons why I bought it. No drastic angle on the neck, so it's not going to break when it falls down or when you ship it somewhere, the headstock's going to pop off. It's a bolt-on version, so I can actually shim and fix the neck. And the pickups in it, I took out the pull pieces because I wanted a fat-sounding single coil. And that's how you do it, boy, right there. So, I didn't have two single coil guitar. This thing came by, it was cheap, so I bought it, turned it into what I want. So my couch guitar is from China, it's a Brian Moore guitar. This one's the most comfortable guitar. I wish they'd make every super strat like this guitar. All right, and what I'm talking about is the shape. Here, let me turn this upside down. If you look at it, there's really nice contours to this guitar, and the whole guitar is kind of slightly curved. So it's pretty badass. This thing's been beat up. It's got a trans finish, but needs some scratch repair and buffing and stuff like that. But like I said, it's a couch guitar. It's pretty cool. You need. So, basically, you know, you can buy some pretty damn cool guitars for under 500 bucks. Get all the different kind of sounds you want out of the pickups and body styles. And you know, body style really doesn't matter until you get to the hollow bodies. And then, uh, you know, get active pickups and 
you know, create whatever sound you want. You know, basically, I'm looking to, you know, recreate some surf, good blues sounds, rockabilly, stuff like that. All right, uh, that's my guitar collection. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to comment, it's all good. Uh, so give me a holler. Uh, talk to me if you got any questions and stuff. I'll do a later video about the model numbers if you guys are that interested. Um, but uh, rock on good people and thanks for watching. Well, by the way, if you know if you do negative comment, guy, I don't want to hear it. If you put it on there, it doesn't. I'm just gonna read a third of it and then erase it. So I just don't like the whole troll thing. All right, all right, guys, you have a good one and rock on, good people.